So I always say those who are afraid to buy are always afraid to sell. Write this down. Those who are afraid to buy are always afraid to sell. Yes. You got a great product, yes? And you never bought anything of that value before yourself. Okay. Can I ask, what's your name? Ron. Ron, Ron what, what's the product? How, what's the product and how much is the price point? It's a $5 million product. $5 million product, right? So it's a product that you have, but you've never bought anything like that, right? Correct. Okay. One thing that worked for me, okay, is that I would immerse myself in an environment where luxury is common. I want to get more comfortable. So it's like, let me give you two examples. When I was getting started, when I was a copywriter, a lot of you know that's how I got started as a copywriter. I was charging $500 to begin with and then $1,000 and then eventually $10,000 to create a marketing campaign for clients. So one of the things I did is I, when I want to, because my mentor was forcing me to increase my price, he said you should double your price. And then when I doubled the five grand, he said you should double your price again. I can't charge 10 grand, he said double your price. And he said I want you to practice in front of me quoting the 10 grand, just getting comfortable saying, because at first I would stutter, well, how much you charge? $10,000. Okay, if you're a client, and you ask me how much I charge, and that's my reply, what's going through your mind? No way in hell, man, right? No, no, so I practice, you gotta, you gotta practice. In front of the mirror, look them in the face. Ron, how much, how much is this thing? Five million dollars. You say it's like it's no big deal. That's the first step, getting comfortable asking. Because you'll believe me, if you practice in front of the mirror, a lot of you, you, your body language will give it away. You're like you're trying to be pretend you're confident, but you're actually not. Okay? You want to practice that you are congruent, you're what? Yeah, the way you say it, how you say it, so that's number one. Practice asking for a lot of money. Practice asking for a lot of money. You gotta practice. Asking for a lot of money. And don't blink, it's not, like sometimes I say, oh, it's, it's, it's $10,000, but I can give you a deal. But I can give you a, uh, maybe an installment plan. It's $10,000. It's $100,000. It's a million dollars. Hmm? Yeah, so that's one. And second thing, also what I did is I immersed myself. Remember, I would go to uh, the hotel, what's the hotel? Um, Pan Pacific, yes, when I had no money. And I would go there, and I would go just have, just sit there. Just sit there, and, and just read, and just do my work, because I, was, I want to immerse myself in that kind of environment. And then eventually, maybe a little bit more money, I'll order a cup of coffee, <laughs> right? And then eventually, a bit more money, i order a meal. I could have lunch there. And eventually, a bit more money, I would have meetings there. Then eventually, uh, you could stay there, right? You can, so that's kind of how I grasp. It's immerse myself in, one of the things I recommend, and it's going to the next couple of slides, there's a magazine out there, a magazine out there called the Rob Report, R-O-B-B -B Report, Rob Report. Well, they promote just the pen. Hmm? Shipping? shipping? They can't ship the can. You can get it from chapters, though. No. No? No, you could get it. Rob report. No, but I, I, I see it in, on magazine racks all the time. Everywhere, yeah, Rob report. Rob report. That's one of the exercise, that one of my recommendation advice from my mentor. He said, you got to read the Rob report. He said, the average, the average net worth of the people who read the... Um, the Fortune magazine is $400,000, Fortune magazine. The average people who read the Rob Report is $4 million. He said, read the magazine, expand your comfort zone. What you think is a lot of money, so that it doesn't feel like a lot of money. So you look at the Rob Report, they're not selling like Mercedes or BMW, right? They're selling Bugatti. They're selling a pen for $10,000. They're selling a chair for $100,000. It just, they're not selling like Bolt. 
they're selling a fucking yacht that you can park a helicopter on. <laughs> it just expands, right, Ron? It says, holy shit, there are people spending money, 100 million for a damn fucking yacht? What's $5 million, man? Big deal, right? It expands your comfort zone. So that's why I started, I subscribed to Rob Report, and I would read those things, and like, well, yeah, it's not a lot of money. It, it changes your concept of how you view money. And you look at these things, oh my God, they're people, affluent clients, spending that kind of money. And it just, it just it changes your mindset. Make sense? Yes. Good question. Okay. So Raw Report, right? Raw Report. Yeah, and they talk about trip. They talk about all, the craziest things you will see. The craziest things. Limited edition. Yeah. Like to, if, you, if Raw Report, you buy a $100,000 car, you're broke. It's $1 million car, $2 million car, right? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But it expands your comfort zone. And what's also interesting, going back, selling to affluent clients, they are selling to affluent clients, notice the language they use. The way they run the ads. They're, you don't see the magazine, buy one, get one free. <laughs> get 30% off before this deadline. You just don't see that. It's a whole different verbiage, language, the way they use graphics, everything they use. There's actually, um, a, an ad in there, a, a matchmaking ad. Target specifically, kind of, I think it's called Millionaire Matchmaker, something like that, I forgot what it is. But it's an ad, they've been running the ad for a long time. It's a matchmaking like, service, dating service. It costs like $100,000, $100,000. Now, is it way better than other matchmaking dating? I have no clue. It must be, it's 100 grand. I don't know, but the way they are selling it, the way they say they go through the, the process, that the interview process and, and whatever bullshit they make up, who, who cares, right? Who knows? But it's very, very, it's very, very educational. Just buy an issue, flip through it. It's fascinating, it's fascinating. So ultimately, the secret to making a great income from your business is simple. Stop selling to poor people. <laughs> Stop selling to poor people. Make the money first, give to the poor. That's perfectly fine. But as a business, it's, just, it's a very, not impossible, but it's very, very difficult. And just, it's not the way I want to make my money. I don't want to sell to people who's got no money. 10 times your finances, 10 times your business, 10 times your marketing, 10 times your life. Hit the subscribe button now.